What is up, Giz Army? What's up, Gym Squad? It, it is Vlogmas Day 3. <laughs> Today, as you can see from the title, we are doing a mukbang, mm -hmm. and we are talking about everything from past relationships mm -hmm. to marriage to the new booze. It's giving relationship q &A. It is. It is. It's giving life updates. It's giving all that. So if y'all want to see that and want the tea, be sure to stay tuned. Period. It, it was me um, making sure I checked the bag, and when I opened this, it only had two pieces of bacon. I said, for six dollars, you only give me two pieces of bacon. But girl, no, you fly. So I'll tell them what I'm eating. Okay. Got a little, let me not drop it. Got a little turkey bacon. Get into it. Into it. Then we got a little, um, put this thing on. Uh, Founders. Ooh, that sounds real colonial. Uh, <laughs> This is corned beef hash, y'all. That's country living right there. And I got a little grits. I got a little egg, but I don't eat that. But we're gonna try it today. You don't like egg? Mm -hmm. Got raisin toast and then cheese grits. And the grits look like it's giving. It's giving, baby. Okay, and I got regular schmegler bacon. Yum. <laughs> and I love them <laughs> and little boy. <laughs> and I got um a Philly cheese steak omelette du flamage. <laughs> Wheat toast, and I also got the cheese grits because, baby, you ain't from the country unless you got the cheese grits. Okay. And obviously, we got the meal misses for the joint. For the way. Oh, you got it. You on pop it, pop it. No, I'm gonna just do it like oh, this. Okay. Because that's. Cause I'm about to say, nah, I ain't. Right, because I'm not good at it. Y'all know what? <laughs> I was like, see, these be easier. You yeah, just do you a little know. twist. A little. But them other ones, boy, like, it was a struggle, baby. And I was like, mmm. We got a little mamusha. Got a little mamusha. She got to go to church, so I'm gonna give her a little bit more. I do gotta go to church. This communion, cause the Lord ain't good. Okay. <laughs> In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we Amen. pray. Hallelujah. A little mamusha. Here. Yeah. I know you got something peppy. Cause I don't know you ain't got the eggs up. And thought that they seasoned that grits. Seasoning. Oh, okay. Um, but let's give the little folks a little something to think about, talk about why they on. Okay, so we asked y'all on our Instagram. If you're not following us, follow me at Slim Roche. We'll put it on the screen. And, Pur and Liz Latrice. And that's on Pur. And that's on Big Pur. And while you're there, you might as well follow my uh, podcast at Uncut Gems with Slim. And period. Plug like it. <laughs> plug it into it. Oh, plug it in. All right. So we're going to do a Q&A, right? And y'all asked us whatever was on y'all lovely hearts. And we told y'all to. We said, make it juicy. You know, get personal, whatever. Ask us. Giz Army is so answer. conservative. Child. Giz Army Mine is so went straight to the juggle. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go first with her, actually. Oh, Lord. Cause I know y'all wants to know. Cause I wants to know. Literally the first question I asked when I got up in here. So the last time her and I did something similar to this, the last time we were sitting side by side, we were doing we makeup were. Uh -huh. and we was just answering questions, mm -hmm. asking each other questions. At that time, her relationship status was very much single. At that time, Terrible. mine was very much single, okay? And ain't much changed over here. And ain't much <laughs> changed over here. I mean, the folks wanna know, Fred, like, is there any prospects? Are you just, what, what's, what's, what's status, what's your life looking like, living single? You know, what are, where are we at now? Since we here. <laughs> I got two questions for you. Ooh, girl. Put them both out so I can figure out which one I'm gonna answer first. Okay, you could answer one about the past and one about the, uh, about the now. I'm not answering that one about the, girl, I would drink this whole <laughs> glass. Mm-mm. <laughs> what was the, the question? people wanna know. They can follow you, they know. Oh my God, go ahead. About the past. Go ahead with the first one, What? Queen. What, what severed the tie? What severed the tie? What severed the tie? And the gang you is. And your high so we love high school. Sweet the gag Lord. is, y'all, this girl knows. <laughs> <laughs> like, we went to the same high school. So they she was in love. She absolutely knows who this person is. And nobody, except for, I guess, the people who we're closest to, 
truly knows why we ended up together. Hello. How they ended up separated. I guess they just woke up one day and we weren't together and they was like, what happened? <laughs> and I will say that- We don't want no sugar. Oh my God. I don't want to. Give so it to look, No, let me tell y'all, this has taken me, I have been, that, that relationship has been officially complete as of 2018, separation 2016. So over five okay. years, right? Okay. And I still um, have not had the courage to tell this story. But I will, and, and she don't want no sugar, but I intend for this. Uh, she gonna do a whole video on her Be a whole so sure video. <laughs> be a whole video and it, it's going to happen very soon because my guy Corey Jones he just did his own um, did you see his video? Mm -hmm. He did his divorce story right and it really did uh, inspire me to get mine out there because I every year I contemplate doing this and every year I talk myself out of it. Mm -hmm. So what I will say and in, in, in a sh very short and simple way come on nutshell. Yes <laughs> Somebody was living a double life and ended up cheating on me. Yes, and um, we hate it. Yes, I finally, I guess, got the courage no more. to the delete. That's just that. If you put it that way, it's very simple. Like it's very like generic. This happens to everybody, head ass, you know. <laughs> but when you get into the weeds of it, y'all really gonna be like, hmm. Ooh, child, it's a mess, honey. But that's with the ex. That's about as far as I'm gonna get with that. Okay. And I guess y'all gonna have to subscribe to the kids' channel mm -hmm. to get the rest. Both. And Life of Leslie Latrice. Yeah, Latrice's both period. channels. Life of Leslie Latrice. That's probably where I'm gonna put it because it's not that much y'all get <laughs> Y'all wanna know about her life? That's where you gonna find it. And that's gonna be her. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was okay. Well, I'll take it. It's a little resolved, you know, when you want closure, because we just had we just, you just said I that. Did, mm -hmm. I did. You want closure, you're going to ask. And we asked, and we got an answer, okay? We got a little snippet of closure. We got, got a little, little band aid. We ain't got stitches, we got a little band aid. Got a little something, a little She'll give you stitches down. later. <laughs> Current. Girl, the girl is nice. Single. Okay, no she longer. got very much something. And very pops much out very someone. much. Girl, when I tell you, then the pop out was like, you popped out, and I was like, who is this? Just getting very much happy. Very much in love, very much. <laughs> celebrate. You better celebrate. And was. It's the both of the birthdays being celebrated For properly. Me. With affection. Okay. With consideration. Right. With Intimacy. <laughs> How y'all met? We met at our mutual friend's surprise party. Mm -hmm. He was a friend of her husband. Mm -hmm. And um, come on, Mary. He was <laughs> moving to it. You got to surround yourself. Okay. <laughs> and my job to be the videographer, and um, he was ended up being there. I didn't necessarily meet him per se, but, at, but I synced him. And you was like, mm -hmm. we peep each other. I done did that before. I'd be like, you. So the next year at homecoming, he spotted me at homecoming. Then that's how we exchanged numbers. Ooh, it's the spot for me. It's the coming up been, and for the number for me because period. he definitely did. And that's what a lot of people don't do these days. And that's how you know, because my mom be like the right one. He ain't gonna be like scared, or shy, that's what intimidated. She said. They gonna come. And Ready they and willing. Period. Shy. And that's what it was. <laughs> we love to see it. We do. Surrounding myself with where I'm coming from. Okay, yes, so we got the number. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so and then from there we just we communicated for a couple months like straight on. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of fell off in the new year. Mm -hmm. Um shortly thereafter we ended up reconnecting. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna tell you how because I wanna save that for like um but we end up reconnecting and from there we grew fonder of each other okay yeah okay. and so here we are how's he with social social with media, media. <laughs> not so much <laughs> <laughs> because i always thought like i was like the person that i'm with 
I feel like we're both gonna have like the same mutual understanding about mm-hmm. socials, right? But there was, I guess, more to him than that mm-hmm. because he does a great job of doing that outside of social media. And we've had, we literally just had a conversation about this because mm-hmm. I was like, I value social media um, because that is the modern way of keeping up with people and you know showing off essentially. Mm-hmm excuse me, celebrating and just engaging. Mm -hmm. And so when you talk about, you know, celebrating birthdays and I guess expressing yourself, Mm -hmm. I do that two ways. Mm -hmm. I do it physically and then I also like to show the world Mm -hmm. like the person that's making me happy and Mm -hmm. who's loving on me and who I love. Mm -hmm. And that's how I do it. I do it through social media while that's not so much of an avenue Mm -hmm. for Laron. Gotcha. So he's not like me, Mm -hmm. right? Because I'm a creator and this is this is my brand. I have Mm -hmm. to be in socials. But um he's opening up Mm -hmm. more um to that. And we haven't been posting on our our couple's channel Mm -hmm. because we're trying to figure out how we're both gonna be able to contribute to it, being Mm -hmm. that we are on different spectrums. Like Mm -hmm. I want us both to be Mm -hmm. contributing to the page Mm -hmm. in a way that shows everyone that we love each other. Mm-hmm. So we're, we're navigating that. You, you know, y'all entertain. Go ahead and do it, girl. <laughs> and, okay, so my other question. <laughs> you say, you know, he might be getting out soon. Why would you? Because I want to know. <laughs> you getting out soon. Are we going into full-time? That's how I want to know. What? Are you going into full-time, full-time creator mode? Yep. I am not. Okay. So, or at least, that's not the plan. And the reason it's not is because the creator money is not coming in for mm-hmm. stability. Like the last the last uh, sponsorship I got was with Urban Skin RX and that mm-hmm. was two months ago. Mm-hmm. So if I did that for what they want, it just doesn't, it's right. not paying the bills. Mm-hmm. And I need creator money to pay the bills. However, right. I do still anticipate that to be the goal mm-hmm. because I, I want to get secure a job mm-hmm. that allots me a little bit more time to okay c- create mm-hmm. which and doesn't take as much energy out of me mm-hmm. so that maybe if I get off work I can actually record a video do my makeup or maybe my makeup is already done so mm-hmm. I can just cut, you know things like that which aren't the case with the arm so right. I can't necessarily or I would say I can't but it is a lot more challenging yeah. to do that because of how demanding that job is. So I'm hoping that whatever job I get outside this will allow me more time to create and Mm -hmm. then I can actually make creating full time versus, or at least just have more time to make more money from it. I I don't have time to do it. So that contributes to, right. You know, not being able to push out as many videos as I want, or even create the content I want to create. Like, mm. I look at all my, I look at all those other influencers who like do this full time, and I'm just like, wow. Like, I know I could do it. Like, mm-hmm. I know it. Most embarrassing thing you've done to get a crush's attention. I have. Do you have a story? The most embarrassing. I don't think. I don't know. <laughs> And you said yours was planning too? Or? Well, I would say this, I would say just, I, I don't know if that gives me butterflies, but that mm-hmm. would make me really happy. Like that would. What give you, what make you go? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I think those just very thoughtful mm-hmm. things, like you said. Like the planning, I'm okay with doing more so because you don't know it'll what be it'll right. be right if you do it, right? But like those little small things like, Let's say you go to the store and then you come back and you come back to the store with some flowers or something. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, oh, I got you some guy at the store. Right. Oh. And don't get one little bundle from Publix. If you're going to go there, get three. It's three for 12. Picky for her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he ah! got three, three roses that look dead. <laughs> Who did? Wait. <laughs> Uh, if he did, you would be like, nah, okay. <laughs> it's like an for effort. Like, you thought, but you ain't thought but that. But you ain't like, look, like, like you, you ain't get look, to the details. You was just it. like, <laughs> I'm gonna give it to him. <laughs> Instead of like, well, looking. first of all, it, so maybe <laughs> that would be more important for you because 
flowers may be more of your thing. Now, flowers, flowers okay, thing. yeah. Flowers are a very good gesture. Flowers aren't my thing, um, but I do, I will never turn down any flowers. I love the gesture. Same. I like stuff that you can make last, like stuff that I can actually, I think it's like whole tangible thing. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, flowers are tangible, but they, they die, die so and then quick. how, roses, roses, what memory will I have? Boo, boo, boo. I like stuff to make memories with, you know? Give me a splash. <laughs> splash, little girl. And then the last one said, do you think you'll be getting married and having kids by 30? And how old are you? 26. So originally I had no expectations for the timeline that I was supposed to be married and have kids after I got divorced. Now, when I was in my marriage, 24 was when I, we were like thinking about having yes. kids. Yeah. Cause wow. we know we've been together well, yeah. since yeah. I was 14. Yeah. But I ended it before that time. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, so after that, I just was like, doing things or living life by myself for a couple of years, even before I started thinking about like dating for real. Mm -hmm. um, and when I thought about that, I was like, man, these streets is ghetto. <laughs> it's the ghetto, honey. And mm -hmm. I was just like, there's no potential out here for this right now. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't. So I, w I just completely, even now, I kind of just don't think about mm -hmm. when that time is going to be. I just hope it's a feeling, but I agree with you. I think after marriage, we should at least have a little bit of time to just kind of fill out married life before mm -hmm. we start having babies. But um, that t there's no timeline for me when it comes to that. Like when we get married, mm -hmm. when the time is right, we will have children. Right. Um, and I wouldn't even say that I, when I'm ready, because mm -hmm. you're never going to be ready. But right. when we feel like the time is right, we're both stable, we're both mm -hmm. anxious kinda about settled. it. Yeah, and we're we're kind of settled in our life. That'll probably be the time that we have children. Yeah, and for me, I say like I went a, a year or so in my marriage to, for it to just be us two. Because me, for some, girl, I don't believe in dating that long. Like okay, a so year you, and a half, and like we should two. know, we should know. You, we're trying to, within well, we trying within six months. You, you should, should know. know. Yeah, no fact. Like no, yeah. It should. You should. It know. shouldn't no, even. I, 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 you I should think, know. I think that you ultimately would know. And for me, that boyfriend girlfriend thing, the the title, the label, that stuff ain't coming with no high school degree, no diploma. Right. Okay. Yeah, we grown out here. We got corporate jobs. Like this is boyfriend or girlfriend me. You trying to marry me? Right. And that's good. <laughs> and the, it's funny you mention that because somebody in my in my comp in the questions asked me, "Do I see myself marrying my boo, mm -hmm. the person I'm with right now?" Mm -hmm. And the answer is, and do period. And um, do because then let me tell you something. Him and I would not be boyfriend or girlfriend right now if I didn't see that in the future. Right. Because I'd be like, what's the point? In doing this, because we really just wasting each other's time. No, if you don't see, see that. that, if you don't see that as an ending point, maybe we, maybe it doesn't get there because of whatever it is we go through during this boyfriend and girlfriend phase. Mm -hmm. But at the time that we decide to commit in this way, you see potential in us making it to marriage. Like right. that's that's just all I ask for. Not, well, I thought you wanted to marry me, but now we're breaking up. Right. Like no, but because stuff happens, we know stuff happens. But, but if we didn't folk that be dating for like five years, I'm like. You just baby girl. Now, if you just ain't got money or something, maybe y'all both don't got money. And but she ain't got to do a wedding to be well, married. You right? I know. I know that. I know. You right? I'm sorry. I'm military, so I didn't Go do to that. Courthouse. <laughs> I didn't do that. My first marriage, we did it like just. I mean, we didn't do the courthouse, but it was just us. I think it was me, him, and my mom. Mm -hmm. And we went to her church, and her pastor married us. So it was only four of us there. We didn't do... Or maybe they don't got money to sustain a family. Maybe they're just kind of both. Like, two both. I feel like there's a lot of situations that could play. Come into play, girl. I get it. Maybe, like, I'll give something up the dream you can... waiting for my dream ring. I agree. Because that's something I'm going to be rocking up. Oh, oh that... <laughs> Like, yeah, I will give that up to no cap. Like, I probably would. I still feel like I can have it all. And so, right. therefore, we will make it happen. 
Yeah. Right. So I think I think at least the proposal should happen, and maybe the, the maybe the dream ring comes with the dream wedding. So like you propose, you propose with the. I ain't trying to be no fiance like for more than a year though. I understand, <laughs> but maybe it take a little bit more time. To say. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that come with right. the way and it's, it's part of the proposal. Or not propose you got the money for the ring. How you propose with that ring? You propose with the ring, just not the dream ring. So you have a ring. Then we like some money. That go, that'd be a little oh. baby. What if it's a $40 ring? Uh, Bubba gum yeah. ring. <laughs> oh, Me, okay. calculate. Let me see. <laughs> Bring me my <laughs> ring. <laughs> okay. You gonna be able to do from there. I got another question. Ooh, child. <laughs> so for me, I'm like, you know, I do want my dream, I feel like I can have it all, I do want my dream wedding. Mm -hmm. However, comma, mm -hmm. I need my dream honeymoon. Ooh. In addition. So you said you would, you said you would negate the dream wedding for- A dream money, a dream honeymoon with our house being built. Them two. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So if I think about it the way you think about it, I want my I want my day. I'm not gonna lie. I want my day, but I necessarily would be I wouldn't be opposed to not doing the honeymoon mm -hmm. and a condensed version of my day. And I can I could downsize my expectations for my ring if the the uh I would just downsize the house. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A condensed version of the wedding, right? But I'm gonna still we could get we got travel agents, okay? We can get a cute little honeymoon for the love. And can. And can. That's what I'm saying. My yeah. dream honeymoon is Bali, first class. Girl. And I need to be there for a good minute. A good Like, little, not a little. At least seven days. At least. At okay, least I need to days. feel like I lived there. A little bit. Okay. Get into the car. I need the bungalow on the water. But you know, if I had to downsize, I would just go basic and come on. <laughs> but you're still but doing everything box. else. <laughs> there it is. Mm -mm -mm. Period. Okay, so we getting wet. We got the plans. We got the wedding plans. We got the marriage the plans. We know how we gonna get there. Okay, mm -hmm. we just talked about the past relationships. Mm -hmm. All that great stuff. I think it was good. I think it was a good little book. It was. <laughs> Did you have any other questions you wanna answer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bonus question. Real tea. What the guy name is? <laughs> No, because I don't All like right, this. so that wraps up. <laughs> that wraps up the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't you think she should drink all her drinks since she didn't want to answer the questions? I think Say so. Mm -hmm. The baby. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure that if you want to see the other half of this mukbang, that you go to either one of our channels, right? I'm not sure whose channel you're watching this on, but if you're watching it on mine, go to hers. If you're watching it on hers, go to mine. And we gonna, we gonna put the little thing right there. It be right there. It's gonna be there. Mm -hmm. the so hit the little card, hit the description box. Get the rest of the tea, cause mm -hmm. Why y'all playing? Stop playing. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining us for our day three. Yes, day ah, three of vlogmas. Oh my gosh. Um, whatever channel y'all watching this on, we hope y'all enjoy this mukbang, Q&A, yes. relationship, girl chat, whatever you want to call it. We gonna give it a good fancy title for okay. you can click, okay? <laughs> click, okay? <laughs> Um, and yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel at Summer Shay and make sure you subscribe to my channel at The Life of Leslie Latrice. Well, mm -hmm. it's not at, but The Life of Leslie Latrice or Leslie Latrice, my beauty channel. Yes, and Uncut Gems with Summer. And that's on period because I be giving y'all gems. No, but for real. <laughs> But the gems be dropped. Be dropped. Every time. Okay, and that's okay. And seven, let me tell you, and they don't get enough views. So y'all need to go subscribe. Okay. Subscribe. Yes. And then make sure you follow us on Instagram at Slimmer Shake and at Les Latrice. Yes. And um that's all I got. Let's see, baby girl. We're gonna see y'all on day four, okay? Oh, let's say our um our little tag lives. Look at the tag is because you say remember and I say you say Okay, go ahead, you say to protect you. Girl, get out my face. <laughs> okay, I'm like, all right, y'all. Um, no, you should say yours. <laughs> Let me say yours. Girl, At I got some of the day, words. Mm -hmm. Love yourself and be you, Tiffo. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's your
your girl, Leslie Trees. And always remember to protect your peace. Purr. Oh, we need to get a fan. Like, goddamn so. Was like he was the, correct. The baby don't even want to be that. The baby Look at the baby's baby. face. That actual baby, not the baby. So why are they shaking the baby so hard? I'm shaking the baby so hard. <laughs> it's Monday, <laughs> and you, you know, know what that means. That about me, but I'm a kid. P.O.P. You can't sit with me. No, come on, 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 Oh, I done waste all my salt and pepper on grits. And I'm gonna try these eggs and they probably just crack them in. Dang, crack them in uh -huh. scrimp. <laughs> I got to see this stuff. Girl, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> yeah. Girl, you know that's my new punch buggy thing. If I see a Corvette, I be like, Corvette, Corvette. <laughs> Shit like that. Every time. Every time. Even in the cowboy yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Top down. Convertible. Convertible. There it is. Corvette, Corvette. <laughs> Hot in the book. Like that. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I got a huge budget. Okay. <laughs> I am saving for my wedding right now. You hey, Girl, you. I got plans. I'm going to And I don't. <laughs> okay, did you do three? Okay. I did three, oh. but. <laughs> that's four. Let's try. 